All right, well, the two ladies are inside of the ring now, Holly Dixon and Autumn Richardson. Let's go to our guy, Jake Gutierrez, who has your official word. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our next bout, scheduled once again, three two-minute rounds. This bout is in the 145-pound division. Our referee in charge once again will be Chris Tyone. Introducing first, she'll be fighting out of the red corner. She entered the ring wearing black with white print, and she represents Team Quest. Ladies and gentlemen from Vista, California, here is Autumn Richardson. And across the ring in the blue corner, she's wearing the brown trimmed in white. This young lady is a freestyle fighter from Mesa, Arizona. Please welcome Holly Dixon. All right, we have Autumn Richardson in the all black with a little bit of white trim. Holly Dixon with the black and the brown tap out shorts. And these ladies are fighting at 145 pounds. Look at not, not a, a huge stare down here as one of the, the ladies, you know, not really looking in the face. Holly Dixon kind of looking to the ground. But the seriousness and intent is still there. It's still present. There you are. Inside the Orleans Arena, we have a great crowd in here, a great crowd in here. The fights are awesome. Of course, the ladies are getting ready to come out for round number one. And look at them, look at them. <laughs> exactly. I was going to say the same thing. They're intense, yeah, aren't yeah. they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a touch you of gloves. To stare down, there it is. There, yeah, exactly. Holly Dixon comes out, and she's fighting orthodox. And we have a southpaw here. Autumn Richardson is oh, a southpaw. Nice, nice right hand. Oh, she's turning away a little bit. Which is not good. Oh. She goes immediately for the takedown. takedown and changing it up. She's diligently going for that takedown is oh, Holly might Dixon. Might have a guillotine approach right here. If she falls down, well, she's got an arm oh. in. Oh, she might still be able to. Autumn oh. Richardson maybe fell right into a guillotine, but. She's going to try and get the side control to get out of that guillotine. Or, or she's going to try to mount. <laughs> <laughs> wow, here we are. Holly Dixon on the bottom. She's got a guillotine set. However, I don't believe Autumn's going to tap from something like this. Just no. one arm, so no. she's definitely going to be out here, huh? Yeah, she'll be out. And at, at the same time, I mean, Autumn is going for that full mount. She's trying to get out of half guard. So once she pops her head out, I think she's going to be in great position. Yeah. Well, you got to expect that coming from Team Quest, you know, that they've been, they train for this kind of scenario. Yeah. And she's out in the dominant position, like you said. There you are, absolutely. Trying she's to finish. Oh, here's a good reversal attempt. An attempt at a reversal by Holly Dixon. She's a lot longer. You would think she'd want to that stand she, up. Exactly. And you, th you think that she could do that move where she puts her legs in front and kind of pushes her over. Oh, nice. Wow, what's the last nice. time you see a reversal happen in that fashion? One of those <laughs> of determination. <laughs> Absolutely. Holly Dixon now on top. Nice. Most, most people would turn and give the back. She just fought through, and that's great. That's great. There you, there you, you have it. Autumn down on the bottom, and she's, of course, trying to keep the posture of her opponent, Holly Dixon, from getting up high and, and raining down punches with those long arms. Exactly. Plus, she's trying to, you know, regain her composure, think of her strategy, going for that arm bar right now. Well, Holly Dixon on top, and she had the little elbow in the neck. I know that's something that kind of... <laughs> Irritates. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow, that round went fast. Didn't it? Exactly. It almost seemed like the round was a minute and 30 seconds, but... Two-minute rounds. The ladies don't feel each other out. They get in there and make it think, make things happen. Holly Dixon comes out, gets the takedown, has a little guillotine. Autumn Richardson jumps up and rains down a ton of punches. And I got to say, I mean, exciting fight again. <laughs> going through all the ranges, right? You know, we're going reversals. No one's trying to stall. Everybody's trying to put it on the line, you know? This is true. I mean, the ladies aren't scared of being knocked out. They came here to fight, and fight is what they're doing. Absolutely. You can see inside of the ring now, we have some ring girls here, I guess furnished by Bada Bing, which is a, a local club here in Las Vegas. And one of the sponsors as well of Tough Enough, which is great. So Tough Enough having some sponsors, they're having a great crowd out here, and they're also having some great fights. Let's take a look at some of the action, Ken. What do you see? This is going for, oh, nice. Take the one for that guillotine. Holly Dixon on the bottom, as, you said, as I said earlier, went for that takedown. She achieved it, but probably have to give the first round to Autumn in all black. What do you say? I think so. Ooh, a little tentative on that kick and paid for it. She sure did. You know what? It, it, it's very odd to me that Holly Dixon is going for the takedowns when she's a lot bigger and has a huge reach advantage over Autumn Richardson, whom the two fighters are right in front of us now. <laughs> and she could also have a better position grappling, too, for triangles and stuff, losing her length. See, and that's why you know more than I know. <laughs> <laughs> right now, busy in the corner, working body shots. 
Absolutely. Oh, looking for maybe a uh, takedown. And you see uh, good technique. I mean, the two ladies are, are going for takedowns. And they're, and they're very um, in charge of what they're doing. You know, they're not just wailing around. Absolutely, absolutely. Someone's going to have to take charge here in round number two. <laughs> wow, oh, nice punches wow. by Autumn. Nice. A little dirty boxing. All no right, one here really we're able to capitalize, though. Still you, kind of a stalemate. You are correct. Holly Dixon, of course, in the black and the brown, and we have Autumn Richardson in the all black. Holly seems to look more fresh. A little. You're right. She nice little body kick there by by Holly, but she's not really uh, she's tentative on her strikes. Exactly. She doesn't want to commit. Exactly. That's not really a feint. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a feint. <laughs> she needs to load up and just let it all out. You know. And she, slip. Exactly, and she could have taken advantage of it maybe if she hadn't turned her side and, and, and I don't want to say got on her horse, but she definitely likes to keep the action in front of her. Oh. She's not a fan of getting hit. Yeah, you can tell by she's turning away. Absolutely, you can see by the reaction once she gets hit with a shot, but here we are now, Autumn. Oh, she her decided to pull guard and go into a guillotine of her own. She gets her arm in there now. She's got the guillotine. She's got her in guard, but we only have under 10 yeah. seconds left. I don't... No, she's gonna uh, she she's, almost got it. Yeah. Saved by the bell is Holly yeah, Dixon. Nice. <laughs> and I think at that point you're just trying to get some submission points in a goal with her submission is better than not doing anything. So there you have it. At the end of round number two, a little bit more of the same in a sense. Holly Dixon trying to go for a takedown. Autumn Richardson gets the takedown and nearly gets the submission. Yeah, it's kind of I, I hate to say this, but it's still kind of even. I haven't really seen anybody gain control. Wow, and if you think that, imagine how the judges feel. They probably don't, you know, they have to pick somebody, but yeah, it's yeah. going to be tough to pick one over the other, huh? They're going to have to go to the third round. Now, if I was uh, Holly, I would definitely just start throwing kicks as hard as you can and just, you know, <laughs> see what happens. I mean, what else do you have to lose? You know, both times it was open, you were tentative, paid for it. This time, let it go. All right, well, you see in the corner of Autumn Richardson in the black, who, in my opinion, may have edged out slight edge. Holly, yeah, just a bit. But Holly Dixon has definitely had her moment to shine in these fights. The third and final round now, the ladies are coming out, and it's wow. It's still anybody's game right now. Autumn just and going Autumn right seems after. like she wants it more. There you go. Nice Beautiful takedown. Take there we go. Beautiful takedown. It ends up in half, half yeah. guard, and now she's got her fully mounted. Got full mount, rain down punches. This might be bad. I think so. We go for an arm bar here. I don't know, because of the ropes, that might be not a good idea either. So exactly. just rain punches. And it's going to be hard for, for Holly to go ahead and, and do a reversal with the ropes right there. Exactly. What she needs to do, at least put her legs in front of the armpits and just push her off. She's trying to spin, but she's not being able to spin. I think the, the referee is in, in close to stopping this thing here. Yeah. There you yeah. have it. Wow. And look at the jubilation by Autumn Richardson, and the crowd is letting her have it. Well, on the third round, she had to decide whether she wanted it, and she did it. And she did that immediately. She exactly. jumped on the chance, and she took the fight to Holly Dixon. That's what it comes down to. Wow. Look at the jubilation. As soon as she jumped up, she knew she had a win inside the Tough Enough ring. And the crowd, doing like they did in the other fights, they are letting the fighters know that they appreciate the effort they're giving inside of the ring. It's always good to get that first win when it's your debut. Absolutely. She's giving a little shout out there to her squad. She's got her hat on. She's doing her posing. Uh, she's ready, y'all. <laughs> she is a very happy fighter, a very happy fighter. And one thing that she did absolutely that I love is what they do in a lot of these fights. As soon as she, you know, threw her hands up, she came over to congratulate her opponent. Her up, make sure she's okay. You know, show her the respect. Absolutely. Here's a look at the end of the fight here as Holly Dixon was on the bottom and she was just being rained upon by Autumn Richardson, just dropping punch after punch. And at this point, you're not intelligently defending, so you have to step in and stop it. All right, well, we have our announcement coming for our guy, Jake Gutierrez, who has your official word. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chris Tayoni stops this contest at 44 seconds of the third round. The winner by TKO, Autumn Richardson! There you have it. Autumn Richardson wins by TKO.